Join us for this unexpected adventure where we have a brake failure on a return flight in the weather from Pease. So, uh, so here we are, we're climbing up, we're uh, over basically Morrisville at this point. Heading down to Portsmouth to pick up Margaret. She's going to spend the weekend with us. Pretty excited about that. Air Force 10, contact box. Airplane's flying one, great. We're going to have a ton of wind, though. We got like 40 knots of wind up here at uh, 7.5, so it'll be a little slow coming back, but we're going to get there awful quick. Uh, but that's cool. There's a little more time with Margaret on the flight, so. Anyways, that's the plan for the day, and then we'll drop her off tomorrow, so it should be a fun little weekend. Okay, so we're coming on the back side of the White Mountains here. Had some huge mountain waves there. They're not unexpected with 50 knots of wind up there, I guess. Uh, getting 210 knots here. We had 220 for a little bit. Uh, we'll definitely have to climb up to 8.5, get over the mountains, and come back down once we get on the way back. All right, so we got Portsmouth out in front of us. We're slowing down. We got, oh, now it's going to start getting bumpy. We're pretty good up to 2,500 feet. We didn't have any problems. Uh, we're a little fast too. We'll slow down. Left downwind for three, four, at peace. So there's a big uh, hurricane off the coast. That's the one that hit Puerto Rico a couple of days ago. It's up in Newfoundland, uh, that area now, but we're getting some of the residual winds from it. We'll definitely get high before we go over the White Mountains on the way back. So not to scare myself or Margaret, we'll do 8.5, even though that'll be about 60 knots of wind in the face probably. Uh, and then we'll descend down after. Portsmouth Tower Information Victor. 1255 Zulu Observation. Wind 280 at 10. Okay, so a little left to right. Doesn't sound like it's too bad though. Alright, so we are at pattern altitude and we're going to keep 100 knots. Clear to land 3495 Victor Dango. The winds are variable between 260 and 320. Thanks. Okay, like I said, we're going to keep a little bit of extra speed around the turn. We're probably going to do a no flapper here. Slow to 90. Winds are from the, from the left to right as we come around the corner. So try not to be overshot. Maybe you need a little bit of power. Turned a little late for having this much wind. But we'll let it come down just a little bit more. Extra prop boost pump landing checklist complete. Definitely if you see that slide to the Minimum. left to right. Angle, angle, push. Angle, yeah, angle, push. That's pretty push. nice. Touched down a little bit fast, but hey, I wanted to. We're taxiing into Port Air. We'll catch Maggie and catch up with you on the backside. Portsmouth Tower Experimental 95, Victor Tango, ready to go 3 4. Experimental 95 Victor Tango, Portion Tower. Runway 34, wind 310, 14 gust 20, clear for takeoff. 95 Victor Tango, clear 34. Alright, so we got mixture proper. Runway 303, say uh, flight conditions on uh, departure, including any turbulence or whatever. Uh, light chop, plus or minus 5, mega high, and that's about it. You all set? Let's move out just a little bit. I'm all set. 303, thanks. It's going to be, we're going to get a little bumpy when we get taken off because the winds are from the left and it's a little bit gusty winds. So, uh, but we'll just let it accelerate and be a little bit faster. All right. So angle, the, angle, push. Oops, that was a little bit of the angle, wind there. Angle, angle, push. Okay, see how it just points a little bit into the wind right off. And it'll just be a little bumpy for just a tech, few seconds here. As we climb up, it'll get definitely get better. Oh, the golf course comes all the way over here. Yeah. We gotta get out and play. Now that you want to play golf. No, I know. I need to. Maybe next year. Yeah. All right. Positive rate of climb. Looks like a nice course. I think you did a great takeoff. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Yeah, I can track you on the app too. Oh yeah, see if it, see if they match. 
what says we departed a minute ago. That's about right. Altitude. That says we're at about 1,500. This is about right, exactly right. And that we're going, our ground speed is 116. That's about, look at that. Wow, I should tell Harrison, it's very accurate. Yeah, he'll like that. This is kind of cool, like you get the, the real sense of how fast you're going. Yeah, please. Number 95 Victor Tango, traffic 11 o'clock and about 8 miles, maneuvering 2200, indicated another one's about 5 miles south, southwest of Franklin County, type and altitude unknown, radar service, terminated to walk via fire exchange group. Okay, we'll be looking for the traffic switch at good day. What else would you like to do this weekend? Uh, go for a run, go apple picking. Jamie went and made a, took a loan out and got some bacon. Ooh. For tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> bacon was like, she's like, it was like $18 for a pound of Mackenzie bacon. So I went with, I went and got something else. I always just get the Costco. Yeah. Taxi in from uh, Port City Air all the way down to the takeoff on 1 6 here at uh, Port Smith. It is a no kidding two, hour, two mile taxi <laughs> at, uh, you know, whatever as fast as a person can walk or something like that. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to see, but there's an old P's sign on the left over there. the valley between uh, so going right over the Morrisville Airport, as you can see, we're pretty good rain. Uh, another little uh, thing, it looks like my right brake, I lost all my brake fluid on the right side, so I don't know how that happened, it's not a, not a great thing, it must be having a leaking connection or something on the right hand side. So, anyways, uh, not the end of the world, but we do have a plan, uh, the plan being the land 1-9, which works with the winds. Uh, get the left brake to turn left. We'll make sure we land early. And uh, we'll, we're not going to taxi near the hangar, that's for sure. Uh, we'll tow it in uh, in the rain. So we'll get the last line. There's Mount Mansfield to the left. Last line of uh, mountains to cross here. High, the peak is 4,400 feet uh, just to the south of us. Uh, we're going to stay up here at 55 until we get clear, uh, and then uh, we'll start on a gradual descent into Franklin County for the visual approach 1-9. They're, whether they're still calling VFR up there with uh, 7,500 overcast, so shouldn't be a problem. Coming up on Franklin County about 12 miles out, winds are down the runway 190 at 7, so that's perfect. We'll be a full flap landing to be as slow as possible because of the brake issue. Uh, overall, a good flight. Got back here, no problem. Field in sight. Going through some rain. Take it just a little deep because we really want to be on speed and land it early. No break on the right.
I went off the runway. Had to had to do a ground loop. I was heading for that uh, light over there, so I had to do a ground loop. I'm not sure what is going on, but I've lost all hydraulic fluid out of that wheel, so I'm going to be towing it back. Somehow, I must have been dragging a brake on that long taxi down at Pease. Ended up overheating and damaging the O-ring. Replacing the O-rings and the brakes work fine. Thanks for joining us for this adventure, RV style. Hopefully the next one is a little more travel specific.